Yeah, hi, Megan. We are here with Philippe Petit. Most people know you from your walk between the Twin Towers. That's kind of what made you famous. But now you've written a book about, not about that at all, but about knots. This is a very special book because after 45 years of making knots, I thought, well, now it's time to share my knowledge. Uh, when you look at what a knot is, besides its practical uh, use, for example, it's a symphony, it's a dance. The rope you know, goes around and creates something either very useful or very beautiful or both. I tell stories of which knot saved my life on a high wire walk or saved the day. Um, there are magic tricks, they're all kind of entertaining moments. When you walked out on the wire between the Twin Towers in so many of these other places that looked inconceivable for most of us. Did you ever think, what if I fall? No, that to me is, is an impossible thought. What I do is dangerous, but I will never get on the wire if I were not sure to succeed in that last step. And also when people ask me, so uh, are you afraid? Sometimes I counter punch, I say, afraid of what? And people giggle. <laughs> but truly, I do not see failure. I am a high wire walker, so I don't think of the opposite of walking. I cannot. Do you think that, that we as a society have become too cautious? Absolutely, absolutely. I think we have to go back to nature, you know, to, to uh, the logic of living, not protecting ourselves all day long. And plus, it doesn't work. You cannot protect yourself completely, right? How do you fight that nature, though, the nature versus nurture? As a parent, the idea of telling my kids, don't worry about a helmet, just go out and you may or may you not know, crack your head seems you know, counterintuitive. Give a pocket knife to your, to your seven years old kid <laughs> and say, be careful. And they'll come back at some point They'll cut themselves, put a bandage. Yeah. But then, you know, they'll be embarrassed at school. What happened? Oh, I cut myself. You cut yourself. Oh, oh. And they will never cut themselves again. In your mind, what is your life's greatest achievement? You know, I don't think like that. I don't, uh, I don't think of it. Maybe it's, it's going through every day of life with um, seeing the day as a new opportunity with a miserable ma amount of hours. There's not enough time in life. Life is short, but is to uh, open my eyes in the morning and say, okay, I have a fresh new day. What am I going to do? Uh, life is short and I run toward what I want to do. And I have the delight to see that what I want to do inspire people. So it's a beautiful life. Fascinating. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Philippe Petit. Back to you, Megan.